In this video, I'll be comparing Parallels Desktop and Crossover, two popular ways to run Windows on your MacBook. Both help you bridge the gap between macOS and Windows software, but they work in different ways. Parallels uses full virtualization, running Windows inside macOS, while Crossover translates Windows apps so they run without installing Windows at all. So let's break down what each one does best and who they are for. First, I'll go over what they do and who they are for. Parallels Desktop is a virtualization platform. It creates a virtual machine where you install Windows or Linux and they can run Windows apps inside of that as if they were native Mac apps. It's best for users who need the full Windows environment for work, gaming or compatibility. Crossover is based on the open source Wine project. Instead of installing Windows, it translates Windows system calls so apps can run directly on macOS. It's best for users who only need a handful of Windows applications and don't want the overhead of a full Windows installation. In terms of key features, Parallels Desktop includes a complete Windows or Linux environment inside a virtual machine, coherence mode which makes Windows apps appear side by side with Mac apps, strong hardware integration including GPU acceleration, USB device pass-through and DirectX 11 and 12 support. It also offers reliable compatibility with nearly all Windows apps and games and it does require a Windows license. Crossover includes direct compatibility layer for Windows apps without installing Windows, one-click installers for many popular apps and games, much lighter on system resources since there's no virtual machine running, no Windows license needed since Windows itself isn't being installed, and it does offer less reliable compatibility, some apps work perfectly, others may not run at all. In terms of the experience and workflow, Parallels feels like running Windows on a Mac with minimal compromise. You get a complete operating system, strong app compatibility and smooth integration with macOS. It uses more resources but offers consistency and reliability. Crossover feels lighter and faster since it skips installing Windows. For supported apps it's almost seamless, but if your software isn't well supported you may run into errors or missing functionality. It's more hit or miss compared to Parallels. Now, the great thing about Crossover is that it is just a one-time price and then you can use it for as long as you like. Now Parallels also offers this, but that does come at a higher price. For example, the Parallels Desktop Standard Edition one-time purchase will cost 190 euros and the subscription is 65 euros per year. So which one should you choose? First, I would choose Parallels Desktop if you need full Windows compatibility including apps, drivers and games, if you want maximum reliability and don't mind using more system resources, or if you already have or don't mind buying a Windows license, I would also go with Parallels. On the other hand, I would go with Crossover if you only need specific Windows apps, not the full operating system, if you want to save disk space and system resources, or if you prefer a lower cost option without needing a Windows license, then I would also go with Crossover. So overall, Parallels is a full virtualization solution, best for users who want complete Windows compatibility on macOS, and Crossover is a lightweight compatibility layer, best for running select Windows apps without installing Windows. So that concludes this comparison of Parallels versus Crossover. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.